It was the day senior year started. Only one more year till I gained full freedom. At least that's what I thought. Rain poured down outside my old dorm window as I packed the last of my boxes, knowing they'd be magically taken to my new dorm. I was being forced to share a dorm with two roommates that year. It was supposed to get me ready for social experiences or whatever. At the time, it seemed distracting. Why did I need to share a space with two strangers? For what? The experience? I would have rather been experiencing real life events. I needed to find my mom. And the last thing I wanted was distractions. dorm and your music can be heard all the way from the front door. I was casting a hex. Rock music gets me in the mood to ruin a person's day. You don't have to have your volume so loud though. Music that loud could wake ghosts from their eternal slumber. You're so inconsiderate. Someone should teach you some manners. Oh, like you're so innocent. You drank the summer assignment I had for fucking potions class. You should have labeled it, Hazel. That isn't just your personal fridge. Everyone has access to it. How about this? If it's not yours, you don't fucking drink it! Guys, what's going on? Why are you so hostile? Who are you? Look, this is between me and my inconsiderate roommate. She's lucky I like her, or else I- Yeah, back out of our business. Get out of our room, weirdo. I'm your other roommate? What the hell? Oh, um, well, this is awkward. Ugh, of course. A nosy roommate. Hazel, hospitality! Look, sorry I had to walk into that mess. I'm Sage. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, interesting. Your aura is calm, but fidgety. Do you have a lot of trauma? Uh, Sage? Too heated for introductions. I'll be practicing my hexes. I'm super sorry about how he has spoken to you. My sincerest apologies. Neither of us are very social. <laughs> At least one of you is sorry. I'm Junie. Which room isn't taken? Uh, that one over there. Look, is there anything I can do to help? I feel really bad about what happened. Uh, Hazel! I told you to turn down your music. Sage! You bitch! That's too far. I told you. You're insane. Happen. Look at my psycho roommate, everyone. You want to see crazy? 
I'll show you crazy. You're psychotic. I'm not the best at dealing with confrontation. So I thought I'd just keep my head down and stay in my room. I mean, that's what I used to do anyways. Should be a natural. As a kid, I used to live out by a lake With lightning bolts, collecting sticks and secret handshakes I was invincible then My heart so pure I had no fear And those were the years That I hold so dear And it felt so right Having you by my side I would never waste your time Or mine Do you ever think about the time When we were young Everything we dreamt Just couldn't wait to hear And we'd soak up the sun Smiling ear to ear Cause it felt so right Having you by my Waste your time Oh my if I scared you. You weren't answering the door, and- It's okay. You just spooked me, I guess. What's up? So, Sage and I are heading out to get milkshakes on the corner. Uh, you should join us. It'll be fun. I'll pay as an apology for our introductions earlier. I uh, can't function when angry. So, what do you say? I'm good. I need to study. Come on. I promise you won't regret it. Fine. Turns out she'd be right. That was the night I'd meet him. They have the best shakes. I swear, they must put drugs in them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What can I get you lovely girls tonight? We'll have three milkshakes. Uh, what flavors do you have again? We've got vanilla, chocolate, caramel, strawberry, and Oreo. I'll take strawberry, sweetheart. What about you two? Vanilla. Uh, caramel. Thanks. My pleasure. Those will be right out for you ladies. Oh, Griffin. Who's Griffin? You don't know who Griffin is. Do you live under a rock? Your family's evil, and you with it. Ugh. What the fuck? Someone needs to help that guy. You shouldn't interfere. You can't interfere. To interfere would be a death wish, physically and socially. Griffin's a Hawthorne. What's a Hawthorne? Oh my lord, you really have been living under a rock. The Hawthorns are the richest family in all of Blackthorn. 
one of the founding families. It doesn't matter, that guy needs help. So either you'll sit here like cowards, or you'll help me help him. Really? <laughs> Fine, I'll do it alone. No, wait. They'll learn what your family did. <laughs> what they're still doing. <sighs> huh? He's had enough, don't you think? Oh, get out of my way. I'd hate to hurt that pretty little face of yours. No, leave or else I'll make you. Griffin's face became blank with confusion. I could almost hear what he must have been thinking. Who does this girl think she is? But the problem was, I didn't even know who I was back then. Excuse me? Do you realize who I am? Nope, but from the looks of it, you seem like a privileged asshat with anger issues. If you think I'm gonna let you do whatever you want, <laughs> you've got a big storm coming, buddy. To me, you look like nothing more than a temperamental toddler. From the expression that covered his face, I could tell no one had ever talked to him like that before. I warned you, princess. magic against other classmates is against the rules. So is assaulting classmates. So I suggest we both walk away from this. No hard feelings, right? On one condition. And what may that be? You will come to my place tomorrow night. I want to... talk. You really are intriguing. <laughs> Fine. This'll be fun. I'm so excited to see what you have hidden away. Can't wait. <laughs> Black coffee. Y yes sir. Get out of here. Are you sure? I I'm sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to get anyone else in danger. As if. Go. Now. <laughs> I hoped desperately that the guy would leave and not look back. I had no clue why I cared so much that he stayed away. Fate, maybe? I stood there nervously, trying to hide that I was trembling. I had no clue what I had gotten myself into. After a long night, a long day at that, nothing feels quite like relaxing in the bath. The warm water is soaking into my skin and loosening my muscles. I can't help but slump down and become one with the water, letting the ripples and soft movement in the water sway my body. I especially love taking baths on a full moon. A great time to recharge. But what I didn't know was that someone else had very different plans in mind. What are you doing here? G get out! What's wrong, princess? I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's not funny. I don't know. The look on your face is pretty funny. Get out! What happened to the confident girl at the diner? Did I make you upset, princess? Leave. Now. Say the magic word. Please, please, leave, Griffin. <laughs> at a girl. Even though I... I don't know why you'd want me to leave. This is your dream after all. I'd only be here if you want me to. What? Come on, put the pieces together. I'm, I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Yeah, that is what I said. I need to wake up. I mean, you could, or we could have some fun. Wake up, wake up. Oh, I'm a little disappointed at how much you want to wake up. Do I make you that nervous? Come on, just wake up! <laughs> uh, what the fuck?
Hello, seniors of Hallbrook High School. My name is Cedric Jennings. I'm a graduate here and was last year's winner of the Black Thorns Young Magic Tournament. He's kind of cute. Do you think he'd be into me? No. <gasps> How would you know? He's my brother. Okay, and? I think he'd be drooling all over me if he had the chance. He's gay. So, good luck with that. Oh, uh... Now, how this will work is you'll start by taking a familiar test. If you pass and choose to keep the reward, you'll be going home with your own cute little familiar. Are you even going to address what happened last night? Huh? With Griffin, in the diner. You are way more powerful than most seniors. Oh, <laughs> I'm kind of, uh, studious. I study a lot of different types of magic. You mean, like, outside of what the school teaches us? Yeah, actually. That's really cool. Can you teach me? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, sweetheart. You're way more powerful than I think you believe you are. You stood up to Griffin Hawthorne. That's big. He's just a guy with a giant ego. Back in your dorms, there will be an exam waiting for you. Don't try to cheat. If you do so, well, I doubt you'll have as much fun doing magic when you're a toad. <laughs> Gathering dismissed. Friday, we shall have those who pass back to gather here. I'll go find Sage. She's probably chasing a butterfly somewhere. I'll meet you at the dorm. <laughs> Hello there, princess. Or should I call you Sleeping Beauty after last night? My expression went blank. How do you know about my dream? What are you? It was surprisingly easy to sneak in that little mind of yours. Almost like you wanted me there. You... Oh, wait, did you... There you go, princess. Now you're putting it together. Subconscious magic is horribly difficult to use. It's forbidden. Uh, how the hell did... Doesn't matter. You're still coming to my place tonight, right? Or will I have to visit you again? <laughs> I'll leave that up to you, princess. I found Sage, but what was that about? Everything okay? Everything's fine. Let's go get our familiars. trying to distract myself from the newly learned information. How did he know subconscious magic? Ugh, I can barely focus after what I learned today. But I have to go to his place tonight. I don't even know where he lives. Does he live in an art building? <sighs> Finally, done with the dust. Now I wait for my grade.
finish the exam as well? How do you think you did? I'm not sure. Guess I'll find out shortly. How'd it go, Sage? I hope I did okay. Who is it? Cedric Jennings, the familiar exam results. Big brother. <laughs> Hiya, sis. So, how'd we do? Junie Knightwood, Hazel Camerain, and Sage Jennings, you all passed. Yes! Congratulations. Your familiars are now in your bedrooms. If any of you would not like a familiar, let the headmaster know as soon as possible. I gotta go. Another group just passed. Later, sis. So I told Griffin I'd meet him at his place, uh, and well, I don't know where that is. Do you? You're actually going through with that? What is she going through with? It's nothing. She wants to meet up with Griffin. Wh what? It's my choice, and I told him I'd be there. I'm a, I'm a woman of my word. I knew neither of them were going to like the idea of me going to his house alone. But what else is there to do? Who knows what he wants? It could be... Uh, animalistic activities. Then I'll leave. Easy as that. My magic is strong. I can handle him. If you say so. But if I don't see you back here before morning, I'm coming to get you. Got it? Okay. Fine. Now, where does he live? As I stood outside the grand building that is Hawthorne Manor, I got a sinking feeling in my stomach. The type of feeling you'd get on the top of a roller coaster about to drop, unsure of what's ahead, but knowing I'll most likely survive. I had never seen so much history in one room, including the school's library. Books on subjects I'd never even heard of.
Find something you like? <sighs> Apologies if I startled you. You seem quite skittish. Not at all. What did you want to talk to me about? Mind if we take this upstairs, princess? My heart started pounding at that moment. Sage's words replayed in my mind. Animal stick activities. Why upstairs? I think down here works fine. I'd rather my father not hear us. Please. If you insist. But just talking, right? How low do you think of me? As low as someone who snuck into my dream and saw me taking a bath. I promise. And I don't break my promises. Fine then. Lead the way, Griffin. scared to sit next to me? Not at all. Now, say what you needed to say, and then I should go. Fine. When I first met you in the diner, there were a couple thoughts that crossed my mind. The first was, how are you so powerful? I read a lot. Oh no, not knowledge. I'm talking about power. See, you're gifted. And you're much stronger than you're allowing yourself to be with my help. You could be at the top of senior year. Not to sound pretentious, but I'm already at the top of senior year. <laughs> Wait. Junie. Look, I didn't want to admit it. But you have the potential to be even stronger than me. With my help, you... I don't need your help. I don't want your help. I've lasted this long on my own. I don't need anyone's help now. Now, if that's all you wanted to ask, I must be going. If you need me, text me like a normal person. Dreams are off limits. Ah, <sighs> that girl. Staring at the other side I'm too scared to decide I'm staring at the other side And I'm hoping it's different this time Would she Oh, hi. It's you again. Um, thanks for protecting my ass the other day. 
Oh, <laughs> hi. Uh, yeah, no worries. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, you're very beautiful. I never thought the one to come to my rescue would be a gorgeous knight in shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> if that's your attempt at flirting, I'm going to have to tell you right now that I'm not interested in a relationship currently. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Xavier, by the way. How about I buy you another coffee as a thank you for helping me the other day? I'll never turn down a coffee. <laughs> I I'm Junie. Nice to meet you. As I headed home from my classes that morning, I felt an eerie feeling, like someone was watching me. Is that guy following me? He'll figure out where I live and just wait for me outside. Griffin. Maybe this guy will leave if he thinks the big scary Griffin Hawthorne is friends with me. My stomach dropped thinking about asking Griffin Dickhead Hawthorne for help, but the only other way I saw out of this was to try and fight the man behind me, and well, I had no idea of telling how much power he had. Griffin! Princess, what are you? Griffin then glanced behind me. Rage covered his face as he put together the situation. Is this guy following you, babe? <laughs> Quite strange to be following a high school girl around, isn't it? Uh, sorry, I didn't know she was taken. Or in high school doesn't matter. You shouldn't follow any young girls around. Taken or not, you should think of the consequences that those actions might have in the future if you don't stop preying on young, vulnerable women. Apologies. <laughs> of course, your big bad boyfriend had to show up just in time. <sighs> You motherfucker! Griffin, he's not worth it. Karma will bite him in the ass. <sighs> Are you okay? <laughs> what? Guess you do need me after all. <sighs> Let me train you. I want you to be able to protect yourself. Why do you care? I thought I was your competition. From the looks of it, you're not going to be much competition right now. Let's fix that. <sighs> When do we start? Let's start with the defense, princess. You may know all the spells in the books, but that doesn't mean you know how to handle hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whatever you say, princey. <laughs> Your confidence is cute. Flame arrow. <laughs> Plain dirty, are we?
that's it. Ambushing me without a word beforehand? Get off of me. Oh, let me help you up. You did quite the beating. Yeah, from you. Thanks for the offer, but I don't want your help. Your teaching methods seem quite... How do I put this? Unorthodox. I'll figure all this out on my own. <sighs> That's it? That's all you can take? Well, good luck protecting yourself, because I won't come save you again. Welcome back, seniors. Congratulations for passing the first test. It started with 500 of you, and now there's only 300. Miraculous job so far, but how will you do in the more physical part of the tournament? We shall see. After the previous night, my head was reeling. After the attempted training session with Griffin was a bust, I couldn't help but feel underprepared for what lay ahead. Now trust me, I know how scary going into the second round can be. I'm sure you'll all do perfectly fine. Here's how it'll all go down. You all will meet the supervisors at the forest behind the dormitories. When I say so, you will need to compete with your fellow stage one winners to find one of 20 flags using only trap spells. The flags are scattered throughout the forest. No physically damaging other students purposefully, no using magic to enhance speed or jumping, and you must only use trap spells that are non-lethal. And with that, the competition will begin tomorrow at sunrise. Get some good rest. You'll be needing it. A part of me wanted to apologize for the previous night. But another part of me wanted to rip his throat out. So staying away was probably the best course of action. That night, I laid in bed, staring at the ceiling. My body felt unnerved by the fact I was trying to sleep so early in the night compared to my typical midnight slumber. But I couldn't have afforded to accidentally sleep in late the next morning, mind racing with inner dialogues that wouldn't seem to calm as the crickets chirped outside the glass pane. As the rain poured down harder, the dialogues came louder and louder until it became very apparent I wouldn't be able to fall asleep just yet. My mind was far too busy. Haven't fallen asleep yet? Strange. Nope. And by the looks of it, you haven't either. You guessed it. I'm super tired, but I can't seem to calm my mind down. Oh, I was curious. What happened when you went to Griffin's house that night you moved in? I told you, nothing happened. I went over to his house, we talked, and then he got cocky, so I left. End of story. Hmm. <laughs> Why does talking about him make your face so red? What are you talking about? M my face is red because he pisses me off every time I have to think of him. All we did was talk. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. Anyways, I'll be taking these jets back to my room. I hope you sleep well.
My head started to pound at that moment. Vision became blurry as I tried not to fall over. That's when it happened. <gasps> if you don't pass the tournament and receive a wand, you'll be letting down this legacy before you. I've worked my ass off to keep this family and title safe. Don't fuck this up. Now go. Make sure he gets that flag. I won't let him ruin the status I've worked so hard to maintain. night I discovered my special abilities. After the vision, I became hellbent on figuring out how and why it happened. As the night grew later, I found nothing. No clues, no visions, not anything. It was as if it had never even happened before. Or rather, that no one wanted to learn about it. The morning fog was thick that morning, so thick you feel as if you're breathing it in. Breathing in clouds of morning dew, I approached the forest and began my mental preparation for the challenge ahead. Oh, early birds, you're even before me. <laughs> Sit tight. We'll be starting the announcements at 7.15. Make sure he gets that flag. He's gonna sabotage us.
Junie's not here, right? She left to get to the tournament early. Now, stop interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sage, sweetheart. As much as I love this, and I do love this, we need to get to the tournament as well. If you insist. Main check? Of course, babe. Good morning, finalists! You've made it through the entrance exam, you've shown up and didn't back out from the challenge ahead, and now you shall fight to find one of 20 flags. I hope all those that chose to keep their familiars are having a good time taking care of their new fluffy friends, and for those who didn't, I hope you trained even harder <laughs> because without a familiar's power regulation, you'll be at a disadvantage this round. Now here are the rules once again for any who don't recall them. No physically damaging other students purposely, no using magic to enhance speed or jumping, and you must only use trap spells that are non-lethal. And now, get ready, get set, go! Terrifying. We'll surely figure all this out in due time. She can't be dead. I wouldn't be surprised. How could you say that about our baby? <sighs> she probably pissed off her ex or something. Idiot! Always choosing horrible men to bring into that household. Calm down, everyone. What are we doing with Junie? Poor girl just lost her mother. She's been left alone. Hopefully we will find Alexandra, but in the meantime, who will take in the girl? Not doing it! For all I know, she murdered my sister. I don't trust that thing. That girl causes trouble. I told Alexandra she should not have kept her. She'd be better off elsewhere. You all are sick. That poor girl needs someone. I'll take her in since none of you have the balls. I... Oh, sweetheart. Hi. Let's go. Aunt Ember's demeanor that day really stuck with me. She was the only one that didn't think I was crazy. Winning the tournament wasn't just for the wand. It was for my mom. It was for proving that I wasn't crazy. And that I didn't lie about that night. About my mom. About everything. Let's go. 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 go.
invisible barrier. Cast vivid trap. <laughs> Nice try, princess. Who's the girl? Got another girlfriend? <laughs> She's not my type. And that is mine. Good one, Griff. Purple hair. What are you, eh? An ugly grape? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done with you, idiot. Let go. Oh, now she's acting like she has a say in all this. Isn't that adorable? You're hurting my arm. I could hurt you a lot more, sweetheart. Enough. She's had enough. <laughs> Run away, coward. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> what the hell? Fucking hell. <laughs> Why haven't I seen her around before? I continued to hold on to that damn flagpole till a supervisor walked up. Sweat beating down my forehead as I licked my dry lips. We'd been there for hours, neither of us wavering. What's going on here? Hmm. Who grabbed the flag first? I, I, I did. did. You liar! Who are you gonna believe, supervisor? A Hawthorne or- Or the person who scored the highest on the entry exam. You little- You know it's true. Calm down. I will need to speak with the other supervisors to figure out our conclusion. Welcome back! You all did amazing out there, but now it's time to announce our winners! The Lucky Magic users who will be going home with wands today are... Please, 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 I need this. Ella Renberg, 
Ember Young, Chris Teller, Liam Brooke, Rosemary Vanderbilt, <laughs> Michael Eden, Jean Vanier, Ross Lennon, Jasper Wong, Blossom Lee, Tara Young, Julie Leon, <laughs> Henry Barrows, Kira Green, Sage Jennings, <laughs> Jake Santiago, Willow Hollis, Hazel Camberlin, <laughs> Remy Dallas, Griffin Hawthorne. <laughs> no, Th this can't be. And Junie Nightwood. <clears throat> Excuse me, but isn't that one too many? Two students grabbed the final flag at the same moment, and so for them it was a tie. This year had 21 winners, not 20, sir. That's not against the rules looking at the circumstances. I could feel Griffin's eyes burning my skin. But I had done it. I, I passed. Even if it was on a technicality, I did it. Are you proud of me? Mom? The next two weeks I spent practicing, as well as keeping my distance from Griffin and all of the Hawthorns for that matter. I also bonded to Roxy, my familiar. It's crazy how a wand and a cat can help channel so much more magic. I think I can actually stand a chance at finding her now. Junie, I was wanting to ask, who are you taking to the Devarling Ball? Uh, I'm not going. What? Seriously? Why? Balls, parties, whatever. They're really not my thing. But it'll be fun! Dance all night, flirt with hot university chicks, ball gowns, suits, come on! I still don't think I have time to go. The school gives you extra credit for the year. I don't really need it. You will meet a lot of... influential people. I'm good. Influential people that... that might know where your mom went. What did you just say? How... 
do you know about my mom? I recognized your full name when it was announced at the tournament. So I looked into it. I found a news article and that's when it hit me. Years ago, I saw a news headline about a mentally unstable daughter and a mother who mysteriously ghosted everyone she knew. The Nightwood Nightmare. I'm... sorry for your loss. I'm going to find her. I don't want your pity. I want answers. Well, the ball will have people from all over. It's much bigger than just a normal school dance. It's a ball for all the top families, schools, and leaders from all around the magical world. Being hosted right at Valkyrie University. It's called the Devarling Ball. Does it have a connection to the Devarling Council? Junie, they'll be at the ball. All magical locations are protected by the Devarling Council. A council of warlocks and witches chosen by deities who oversee the mortal and magic worlds to protect the identity of magic users. If anyone tries to expose the magic world to mortals, they are held in custody of the Devarling Council. They control everything. They know everything. This might be a perfect opportunity to figure out what happened that night. Thank you, Hazel. You're a lot nicer than I first thought you were. <laughs> Did you think I was a bitch? I didn't know what to think. You basically told me to fuck off when we first met. <laughs> Alright, fair, fair. <laughs> oh, also, do you want to get fitted for your dress tonight with Sage and I? <laughs> that actually sounds good. Junie! Wow, you look beautiful. Th thanks Oh, uh, hey, Xavier, what are you doing here? Junie, hey! I'm picking up my suit for the Devarling Ball. Wait, do you attend Hollowbrook too? I used to. I'm a first year student at Valkyrie now. Hey! Uh, I... I saved his ass from Griffin at the diner. Oh, right! <laughs> nice to properly meet without blood dripping out of your nose. Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Xavier. I'm Hazel. This is Sage. It's been a pleasure, but I should really go grab my suit, though. <laughs> See ya.
Griffin, we need to talk. Yeah? Don't have that tone with your own father, please. I wanted to talk about the ball. After everything with the tournament, you barely got a flag. That wretched purple girl also got in. I need you to attend the ball and redeem yourself. Prove to me and the council that you deserve to be a Hawthorne. I do deserve to be a Hawthorne. Then prove it. Be the boy I raised. I'm counting on you to continue the Hawthorne legacy. Only the winners of the tournament, top students at Valcarane, and the top wealthy families from the magic world were invited to the dinner portion of the evening. The rest of the evening was open to all Hollowbrook High seniors, top families, and all students at Valcarane University. And of course the Devarling Council was invited for as long or as little as they could spare. I hadn't seen them arrive, not yet at least, but they had just started announcing the top magic families as I sat down. Now welcoming our special guests, the Everest family. The Hannigan family. The Alistair family. You were almost late. Yeah, the where Fraser were you? Family. My course up was more time consuming than I thought. <laughs> Asked the you if you needed any family. help and you said no. <laughs> I didn't think I'd need help. <laughs> the Hawthorne family. I noticed as they announced the Hawthorns that it was only Griffin and his father. I wondered why it happened to his other parents, the assumingly a mother. The Wolfhart family. The Kallstrom family. The Chow family. The Katzman family. The Young family. And the Eldridge family. Now, let's eat. ballroom to the rest of those who were invited. Families from all over the world asked the Valkyrie students to dance. Huh? May I? 
much of a dancer. <laughs> Suit yourself, Brunzox. Miss Tyra Kalstorm, may I have this dance? Uh, uh. I noticed one of the Shalstroms were still on the side of the dance floor. Everyone had been asked to dance except for one, the youngest from the looks of it. She seemed scared. <laughs> Excuse me. E yes? Would you like to dance? Uh, um, sh sure. My name is Junie, by the way. Junie Nightwood. I'm Vilma Shellstrom. Pleasure to meet you, Vilma. So, uh, where are you from? The magic city of Vauxhall, of the coast of Stockholm, Sweden. What long journey do you took to come tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Just wondering, uh, what do you know about the Debarling Council? Not a lot, but my parents know them. I've heard them talking before. Hmm. Sorry if that wasn't helpful. No, 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 you're, you're good. I was just wondering. Regardless, I was... Oh. So sorry to interrupt you lovely ladies, but may I have a moment with Junie? Oh, no worries. If you have any more questions, Juni, let me know. Hello again, beautiful. Did she know anything? Nope. Her name is Vilma Shellstrom from Sweden. She seemed very sweet, but the only information she had about the council was that her parents had talked to them. Well, that's something at least. Council member just walked into that back room. You might be able to talk to them back there. If you can get in. Doesn't hurt to try, right? Exactly. We need to get to the bottom of the disappearances going on right now. Magic users and humans alike have been going missing all over. We must fix it. I understand the concern, and after everything that's happened with my late wife, I'm trying my hardest to figure this all out. From the looks of it, someone else with power has been kidnapping those who plan to spread our secrets, and instead of wiping their memories, they've been... well, I'm not sure exactly. We need to figure this out, and soon, before panic arises. Is, is that what happened to my mom? How do I... How do I... How do I find her? I need to, I need to find her. I realized in that moment that I needed to explore further down the avenue of who may have taken my mother for knowing too much. I needed to become stronger. Nightwood. Uh, yeah? Will you dance with me? Uh... I'm trying my hardest to figure this all out. Sure.
Why did you ask me to dance again? Why did you finally say yes? Fair. <laughs> Question. As one of the top families in the magic world, I feel you'd know better than I would about how we keep our magic a secret. The magic cities all around the world were first created during the mid-1400s, when the witch trial started in Europe and then finished construction during the 1620s, when the Salem witch trials happened. They were created because peace couldn't exist, humans were scared of us, and for the right reasons. We're like walking explosives, if we don't know how to control our power, then boom. That's... I wish that the history was better. For everything, really. Blackthorn has a dark past. I hate everything my father has. But don't tell anyone that, please. That your father has done bad things, or that you hate your father for it? I guess both. But my father is already known to not be a great person. Uh, Junie, may I dance with you? Oh, uh, sure, Xavier. Why the fuck are you talking to that guy? He's my friend, Griffin. You're the one that beat him up, not the other way around. <clears throat> Didn't know you and Griffin were close. We have a complicated relationship. Relationship? What kind of relationship? Friendship. That's it. If you could even call it that. I don't understand how you can be friends or whatever with that monster. That whole family is... <laughs> horrible, horrible people. Everyone in this room, really. They all give me goosebumps. I don't blame you, but... I don't know. Never mind. Already getting tired? I guess I just needed a break from the noise. It is relaxing on campus when you're away from the crowds. This campus is actually really beautiful. And I hear their alchemy and nursing degrees are the best of the best. Yeah, never thought about going to university to be honest. Neither did I. I just wanted to figure out how to kill my parents. Anyways... Junie, you're trying to find your mom, right? And Sage is trying to investigate her parents as well. <laughs> you could call it that. This school has ties to everything, including the Devarling Council. People that can give you both answers. And for me, I want to be the best at potions and healing and alchemy. I want to heal people. I've lost people to illnesses for no good reason. So, are you saying we all should go here next year? I'm saying it's not a bad idea. Then let's do it! It sounds like it'll be fun. Yeah, it actually does.
final call <sighs> The writing's on the wall We fell and now we walk In the ruins of our love Days gone fading Hearts still aching I can't control it I can't control it uh. Come in. Jenny? What are you? <laughs> you look adorable. Messy hair, barely got dressed before I walked in. <sighs> Aren't I lucky? Good afternoon. What are you, Griffin Hawthorne, doing in a laundromat? Saw you. Thought I'd come pick on you. <laughs> Why are you so smiley? I found a new use for you. Turns out you're not totally aggravating. <laughs> and what might that be? <laughs> you're kinda cute when you get all curious. Go to your head. You're still an asshole. Finish loading up my laundry, will ya? You don't want to stay here with me. I'm sure we'd have plenty to talk about. Plenty to do.
I researched for hours all about the DeBarling Council and how they typically handle people finding out too much over in the human world. If anyone tries to expose the magic world to mortals, they're held in custody of the DeBarling Council until either pled innocent or guilty, in which they lock them away or send them with a wiped memory and a power-suppressing curse to a mortal mental hospital. The Devarling Council members consist of the daughter of Anubis and a witch, Mavis, the apprentice of Loki, Farleen, and the knight of Hades, Quill. The council was formed after all the magical cities were originally built to ensure their safety. <laughs> I mean, look at her. She's terrifying. Some people say she's the reason her mom disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Stay vigilant. This isn't an easy thing to cover up. Do you think this can all be just swept under the rug? Not anymore. We need a plan. No one suspects you yet. Yet. That can change. You have to stay hidden. I mean it. Don't talk down to me. Sure of you, right? But the Davarling Council won't find out. They can't. It's such a myth that they can see all. They're more like blind bats, scurrying overhead, and in reality, what they don't hear about, they don't know about. <sighs> now leave. I have business to attend to. No. No, no, no. Griffin's dad is behind this. for watching season one of Charmed Academics. If you do not know who I am, hello! Uh, my name is Izumi, or Jamie Annalisa. I am the writer and creator of Charmed Academics, and pretty much everything in between. Builder, director, yada yada. 
list goes on. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for watching season one and remind you that season two will be out as quickly as it can be. Um, I appreciate all your guys' love and support. This has been over a year in the making and I am so, so happy that it is finally here for you guys to enjoy. As of me recording this, you guys haven't seen any of season one yet, so you guys will have a quite different perspective on the series than I do right now. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope, I hope, I hope it found the people that I knew would love it. Anyways, have a nice day, and yeah. <laughs> See you around.